I'd like to welcome in a very special guest, UFC lightweight Isaac Valley Flag, who's fighting Takanori Gomi at UFC 172. That's in Baltimore on April 26th. How are you doing today, Isaac? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much. You know, I'm very, very excited here about your fight. And uh, I really, really like the fact that you're going to go up against Takanori Gomi. But uh, originally you were on tap to battle Danny Castillo. And then you were pulled in favor of the Gomi bout. Uh, can you explain to some of the listeners how that came about? Uh well, Joe Silva called, and I said, I would love to fight Gomi, and then I'm out fighting Gomi. That's it, was, it really wasn't, there was, it was just kind of a, it really was, it, you know, I was supposed to fight Castillo, and then uh, then I was playing golf one day, and I got a, a Cub, I was sitting with Cub Swanson, and our manager called Cub and said, you're fighting, or it's Gomi, and I thought they were referring to a Cub's fight, and Gomi had dropped the 45, because he was waiting on a fight as well. Yeah. And they said, no, they're switching your opponent to Gomi. And I said, oh, okay, cool. cool. And, I, and after that, I just couldn't wipe a smile off my face because I've been a fan of Gomi for a while. And, and I think stylistically, it's a better matchup for me, you know? Is that going to be tough getting in there? You know, we've seen it before in the past. Uh, for instance, like Pat Barry and uh, his fight with Mirko Krokop. He said what a fan he was of his and wanted to fight him. But then he got in there and it was like, it was tough for him to engage. You think you're going to have an issue with that? No, not at all. Uh, you know, I fought two other guys who, who I started off liking in the game, uh, and, uh, and being a fan of, you know, uh, when I fought Eve Edwards and I fought Jay-Z Cavalcante, and I didn't have a problem fighting either one of them. So, but, uh, you know, I, it's an honor, and the biggest honor that I can say to them is give them a hard fight, you know, that's kind of the way I look at it. You know, he is, like we mentioned, a, a veteran of the sport, Takanori Gomi. He's been fighting for somewhere around 15 years with different organizations from Pride and, you know, now the UFC. Do you ever really just get in awe of, of the fact that you're fighting him? I know Phil kind of mentioned the same thing, but just like you were mentioning, wow, definitely I'll take the Gomi fight. What appeals to you about the fight? Uh, I don't get in awe so much, but what appeals about it is, and he's a he's a guy who likes to stand up and throw throw punches. You know, he's he's a real kind of true fighter. You know, and, and uh, that's what appeals to me. I like I like fights like that, and I I think fans like fights like that as well. So uh, that's why I said stylistically, it's a great fight. We both like to stay in the same, and I think the fans appreciate that. Absolutely. And, you know, uh, as far as self, you had come back now from a back injury. Uh, we saw you against Elias Silvero. Uh, originally, uh, round, I think, UFC 161, you were supposed to fight Sam Stout, but then the back injury kept you out. Uh, how did your rehab process go, and how healthy do you feel? Are you about 100% right now, or is there any lingering effects from that injury? No, nah, I feel like I'm 100% now, you know. Uh, the Severio fight definitely was, uh, was a weird one because it was my first one and, uh, after the surgery, and it was pretty close to the surgery, so. Uh, you know, it was, that was a little bit weird, but, uh, now I feel like I'm 100% and I feel stronger, like, my core feels stronger and everything. And you've been now at lightweight, uh, let's see, for the last three fights, so this will be your fourth fight at lightweight. How, how hard is that cut for you to make, or is it a problem at all? Uh, I've been at lightweight before that, too. I just stepped up to 170 to fight and strike for, so it's, it's not, uh, uh, I've gotten it down to where now I'm playing with if I can be heavier later on uh, and be stronger going into the fight. So it's not a hard cut for me. Now, Isaac, before Heidi mentioned the fact that originally you were set to take on Danny Castillo and then the call came that you were now fighting Gomi, does that happen a lot where opponents get switched before or right after fights are announced? Uh, not that I know, but, you know, I mean... Uh, yeah, not that I know of, but I, I mean, whatever. Yeah, so, but you, you, and I, I love the fact that you just, you know, you were ready for Gomi. And we were talking about the, the, the history behind the guy. The first or the only pride lightweight champion, you know, was dominant for so long. And you've been fighting for a very, very long time. You're one of the veterans in the sport. You've got 10 years, uh, 10 years down the road, basically, you've learned so much. What, what has the been basically the best or the most exciting thing in your career so far? 
Is it the fact that you're in the UFC, or is it the fact that you've been able to stay around so long? What is what do you look? Uh, what's the best part about your career going on? Uh, definitely so far the uh, I mean getting to fight in the UFC for the first time, and then who I got to fight. You know, I got to fight Hughes Edwards for my first fight in the UFC, and, uh, and so that really has been uh, so far one of the coolest moments in my career. And you trained down in Jackson with one of the, the best camps there is around. What's a day in the life of uh, Isaac Valley Flag like? It really is just, I mean, in camp, it's just, just hard work, you know? Like yesterday, uh, we, we had a morning practice, and then, uh, and then uh, I went back later and hit mitts, and then I had to do a, a, a technique class after that, and then, and then, uh, and then after that, we did, uh, a little bit of wrestling, and then after that, it was a jog. So, I mean, you know, we're doing four or five a day. It's a tough drive while you're in camp, you know? Well, how do you relax? How do you basically unwind? Uh, I unwind. I've been, you know, I've been really watching this show, Castle, lately. That's how I've been unwinding. It's just watching TV, TV. Oh, and, that's... Uh, and just kind of chilling. I'm not like a, I'm not like a Donald Throne who's just going to go out and hit the lake and water ski and all that stuff, so... Just like to chill. I like it. I like it. Uh, you do mention uh, some of your training partners here, guys like Cub Swanson and Donald Cerrone. You also have uh, Diego Sanchez down there. What's it like to work with a crew like that? And how do they help you uh, get your game up to a, a top level? Like you guys all kind of compete together and then that helps you uh, excel? Yeah, you know, it really does. You know, I've been lucky to kind of come up after those guys. So I've got to take away uh, kind of like the best and the worst of everything from everybody, you know, and, uh, and I kind of uh, got to watch, watch guys make mistakes and I've got to watch what guys do well and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's been uh, a cool learning experience for me down here with those guys, you know. Absolutely. And we had talked a little bit about that injury, which kept you out for about a year. And now you're back in about, what, about three months after your last fight. So, I mean, having that consistency, being able to look forward to 2014 and thinking that you can be in the cage more, how much does having that consistency, constantly having a fight book help you set your goals? Oh, it's great. You know, I, I want to fight as much as possible, you know, and, uh, and so being healthy and being able to fight that much as long as I keep winning is a good thing, you know? Yeah, and, uh, well, here's the thing that I really want to know. And we talk, we've had fighters in the past say they learned so much from a loss. And, you know, your last fight, obviously, coming off of a surgery uh, or, you know, an injury. And uh, it was just things were rough. It was what you said. It was really close. But it was the first time that you'd actually suffered a loss in quite a long time. And that had to be uh, tough on you. But what did you learn from it? Uh, you know, I just... I went in there and I, I got impatient and I started doing some things wrong and uh, I didn't stick to my game plan. So if anything, it's just you know making sure I stick to my game plan for the fights and and, uh, and do what I'm supposed to. Well, we look forward to the next fight. Obviously, it's going to be a great one against Gomi. Uh, wish you the best of luck, man. Yeah, absolutely. We wish you all the best here, Isaac. But right now, we do have to head out to a break. Again, Isaac Valley Flag. He is fighting Takanori Gomi at UFC 172. That's April 26th in Baltimore.